welcome back to Apollo Pilates channel on YouTube. Today we're going to do a lower body focus, so we're going to really challenge our core and our lower abs and concentrate on our thighs and our bum. So make sure that you're nice and warmed up to start with and we're going to start with our lower abdominals. So come to sitting on your mat with your feet at hip distance apart, you're going to raise your arms so that they're in line with your shoulders. So sit up nice and tall. As you inhale, you're going to come into a half roll back. Exhale, scoop your abs to bring you back forward. So you inhale, roll back. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, scoop. Now we're going to go to our shoulder blades. So you inhale down and exhale to scoop yourself forward. Inhale down, exhale, scoop yourself forward. Now this time we're going to lift our right leg, so scoop your abs, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, change leg, so left leg, good, now we're going to go with both legs, so use your arms, scoop your legs up, Good, now back to your shoulder blades, bring your legs down, exhale, scoop yourself back over your face. Good, so now I hope that you're nice and warm at least. So we're going to come on to our side. Make sure that your shoulder is over your elbow. Your feet are in line with your bum, stack your hips and stack your shoulders. Now don't want you to sink into your sides, so you need to lift out, stretch your head away from your feet, your, your bum. So you take a nice big inhale, exhale, lift your knee to the ceiling and lower. So we're going to go for our clams. Now the trick here is not to move your pelvis at all. So pretend that there's something behind you. So I don't care how high you can open your leg, don't roll back to get more height. If you want to advance the exercise, you can float your feet. So keep that, everything nice and still. Keep lifting out of your side. We're going to give me two more. And we're going to pulse up to the ceiling. Tiny pulses, keep nice and still for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Lower your knee, lower your feet. Now we're going to lift our top leg up to hip height. We're going to arc over to touch our knees and arc back over to touch our heels. So pretend that you're a Barbie or an action man. And you remember how the legs used to spin inside the pelvis but the pelvis wouldn't move? That's what we're doing. We're turning our femur bone all the way around in our hip joint. So it should massage your hip nicely. So you're isolating your glute med muscle. Hopefully you should feel that that activation is happening by now. Keep lifting out of your waist, keep your abs engaged. Keep lengthening your spine so that you stay nice and long. You're going to give me two more. And lower your leg back down. Give your glute a bit of a tap. So we're going to come into our glute bridge series. So think about your spinal mobility, but also think about really utilising the glutes to lift you up. So bring your feet back a little bit closer than you ordinarily would, at hip distance apart, which is in line with your ears. So take a nice deep breath and ensure that your core is set. Exhale, breathe through your imprint and start to push up into your glute bridge at the top. Belly button lower than pubic bone. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, like punch in the stomach, roll through your ribs. Keep curling your pelvis towards you as long as you can. Breathe through back to neutral. And again. Pick up your pelvis on either side at the same rate so it lifts balance. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. So keep curling your pelvis towards you. Keep squeezing your glutes. You're trying to find that extension in your lumbar spine and find your spinal mobility. One more. Good. And then melt back down. Nice and steady. So now you're going to lift your right leg straight up to the ceiling so that it's over your hip. Now, by definition, if you curl your pelvis towards your feet, will come towards your face. So inhale, prepare, exhale, breathe through your imprint, come up to the ceiling. Inhale, stretch, exhale, lower back down, 
So you can see my foot moves ever so slightly. It's a nice piece of visual feedback. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift up to the ceiling. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. And this is your last one. I'm going to stay up and we're going to pulse the, to the ceiling. So up, up, tiny pulses through your glutes, push through your heel. Five, four, three, two, one. Melt all the way back down. Bring your foot down. We're going to change legs. So nice big inhale. Exhale, curl up. Good, inhale, exhale, melt back down. So now your oblique has to work much harder because it has to help you lift your pelvis equally on both sides because you still want your pelvis to go up nice and steady. And this is your last one, we're going to stay up and we're going to pulse. So up and pulse, 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 pulse. Try and poke holes in your ceiling for five, Four, three, two, one. Roll all the way back down. Bring your foot back down. Lovely. Okay, so now we're going to go for our intermediate leg lift. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, roll up through your imprint. Develop up your leg. Exhale, flex your foot down. Inhale, point up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Toe ball heel. Change legs and down. Lost my breathing completely. So now we're going to make sure our hips are at the same height as when we started. And we're going to go again. Change feet. Keep your legs or your hips up nice and high. Don't let them drop. Keep pushing through your glute. And that's your last one. Nice big inhale. Exhale, lower back down. Curve pose towards you. Good. Okay. Hug your knees. Release any tension that you might have. Have a little roll around. Good. So now we're going to try and find the connection from our brain to our lower abdominals and our lower abdominals to our legs. So if you do a format, I always say to people that legs and straps is not a leg exercise. It is an abdominal exercise. And this is why. So if you're trying to move your legs around with your hip flexors, your hip flexors are going to hurt. So think about moving your legs around with your lower abs. So let's set our core. Good. And when you're ready, inhale, run leg to tabletop. Exhale, other leg to tabletop. Straighten your legs straight up to the ceiling. If you need to work an imprint, then do. So inhale, lower your legs only as low as you can keep your pelvis in neutral, your spine in neutral. Exhale, lift your legs up by scooping your abdominals to lift. So inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So this is about scooping your abdominals to help you lift your very heavy legs. If I cut them off, you'll be about half your weight. So your hip flexors are not designed to lift and lower them. You're going to give me one more. Good, and now we're going to circle, so pretend there's a mirror in between your legs. So inhale, open, and swoop down. Exhale, close, and scoop back up. So this is not about how wide you can circle your legs. This is about the muscle control around your pelvis and around your core. Your feet should be doing exactly the same thing on either side. So keep your pelvis super still, it shouldn't be rocking and rolling. Last one. And we're going to change direction. So inhale, lower and open. Exhale, up and close. Last one. Good. Now bring your legs back to tabletop, one down at a time. Excellent. So hopefully you did find that connection between your lower abs and your legs. So you're going to come onto your other side for your clams. Shoulder over, elbow, stack your hips, stack your shoulders, don't sink into your waist. So inhale, prepare, exhale, lift your leg to that ceiling. And once again, 
Try not to roll back to open your leg higher. So I'm stiffer on this side, I can't get my knee as high as I can on the other side, that's okay. Just challenge your glute med to isolate itself and start to activate, to lift and lower your leg. If you can hear some weird thumping, that's my cat beating up the, the chair leg. You're gonna give me two more. And we're gonna pulse. So I open to the ceiling and pulse, 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 pulse. For five, four, three, two, one. Lower your leg. Oh, I forgot to lift my feet. So now we're gonna lift our leg up to hip height and we're gonna tap our knee and we're gonna tap our heel. So again, keep your pelvis super still. If you found that you're sinking in, so your waist lift yourself back up. And you're gonna give me two more. Find that nice femur bone massage in your hip socket. And bring your leg down, give your glutes a bit of a tap. Lovely. So we're gonna come onto all fours. Now make sure that your weight is distributed, so make sure that your knee is under your hip and that your shoulders are over your wrist. If you're too far forward, you can wiggle your fingers. If you're too far back, you can wiggle your fingers. If you're distributed, you can't wiggle your fingers. It's a weird little trick. If you're a sinker, lift your abs to find your neutral spine. If you're retracting, retracting into your shoulder blades, lift out so that your shoulder blades are in neutral and so that you don't put too much pressure on your uh, wrists. Good, okay, so now we've found our nice quadruped position. You're gonna straighten your left leg out directly up behind you. Lengthen through your head and your feet. Lift your leg up with your glute, and you're gonna tap out on your left side. Then lift all the way up and over, and tap out on your right side. So I want you to keep your back super straight in its natural curvature, and I want you to think about not leaning as you lift and lower your leg. So this is about isolating that muscle. So now your glute max is doing a lot of the work here and your hamstring should be really engaged. The more you stretch your foot away from your head, the easier this becomes. Now you're gonna come back to center and we're gonna lift and squeeze that ceiling and lower. Tap the floor, exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down, keep. If you've sunk into your abs, lift back up. If you're sinking into your shoulders, lift back up. Stretch your head away from your foot. Two more. So it's a real squeeze. It's not just a flinging of the leg up and down. Good, now bring your knee underneath your hip, flex your foot, and you're gonna stamp the ceiling. So this is your donkey kick. And this exercise begs you to arch your back. It begs you to lean to one side. So really resist that temptation. Keep finding that stability through your core. It's a hinge movement at your hip joint. You need me two more. And this time we're gonna stay up and we're gonna pulse. So pulse, pulse, pulse. Show the sole of your foot to that ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knee back down. Good, we're gonna straighten our right leg. We're gonna go straight to our right leg. So lift up, tap the right side. Squeeze up all the way and over, tap your left side. Up and over. Good, so think about that length from head to foot. So stretch out of your hip socket, stretch out of your cervical spine. Keep your abs engaged so you don't sink into them. So your whole body is still working to keep you super stable. Squeeze your glute max as you lift and over. Last one. And come to the middle. And now we're gonna go for our straight leg lift and lower. So if you stretch up and pull out of your hip socket, you'll feel your glute max and your hamstring engage much more effectively.
You're gonna give me two more. Squeeze up through your bum. Squeeze up through your bum. Lovely. Bring your knee underneath you, flex your foot, hinge at your hip joint to kick up to the ceiling. So don't extend your leg, keep it in your tabletop position. Still keep your back nice and straight. Don't lean to your left, it's begging you to do that. I know that your left side is probably aching now because your stabilizers on your left side are also working really hard and you've done quite a lot of work with your glute already. Okay, we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna stay up. And stay up. And we're gonna pulse, 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 pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knee down. Good, okay, you're gonna come straight down to your stomach. So this has got a lot of nuance to it. We're going to do our one leg pull, but we're gonna make sure our abs are lifted. So you're gonna bring your elbows back kind of into line with your chest. You're gonna make sure that you point your toes, roll your, sit, your pubic bone down to the mat so you can see that my abs are lifted nice and long. I'm gonna stretch my head away from my feet. I slide my shoulder blades down towards my feet. Now, as I've got myself nice and sorted, I'm gonna inhale up, release, flex my foot, pull back and lower. So inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lower. Now this is a tricky one to get right. You should feel this activation in your hamstring. Don't let yourself sink into your abs. Really pull with your hamstring to lift your leg. Now I always feel this because I've got really tight hamstrings no matter how much I stretch and I get crap. But that's how you know you're doing it right. So one more each side. Good, now separate your knees. Push yourself back into a shell stretch. Keep space between your ribs and your thighs. It's not child's pose, it's an active stretch. Inhale. Exhale, re-suck your spine. Good. Okay, just give yourself a little bit of a wriggle around. So where do we start? We started on our right side. So if we go back to our right side, you're gonna lie down. I'm just gonna grab my ball to put under my head. I have sore shoulders, so you can lie with your arm under your head, but for me, it's not very comfortable. So do what makes you comfortable. Grab a cushion or a ball. If you have a cushion or a ball, make sure your bottom arm, arm is out nice and long. So make sure that you're stacked, hips and shoulders. Then bring your feet 45 degrees forward to the front of your mat. <sighs> Sorry, I ran out of breath. So make sure that you're not sinking into your mat. You wanna make sure your spine is straight. So lengthen your head away from your tail, lift your top leg up to hip height and bring it back into line with your body with a pointed foot. As you inhale, prepare, exhale forward and forward with a flex foot, inhale, point back. So you're trying to find your hamstring stretch on the way forward and your hip flexor stretch on the way back. So what I want you to do is I want you to keep your body super still and you're lengthening your hip socket out of your hip socket away from your head, which also helps your balance. And you should find that you can go only as far forward as you can keep your pelvis stable. So you can see, oh, I can't go all the way to 90 degrees. I'm too tight. As I said, my hamstrings are ridiculously tight. You're going to give me one more. Good. And you're going to bring yourself back down. So hopefully you feel nice and stretchy. So we're going to work through a plank series. Let me just get rid of the ball. So the first one, you're gonna come back to your quadruped. Find your neutral spine, so make sure that your abs are lifted and your core is engaged and your shoulders are not sinking. And you're gonna tuck your toes and hover your knees. Once you've hovered your knees, you're gonna walk back into a plank, keep your pelvis nice and low, hold. Now come up into your back stretch, stretch through your calves, and then hinge back down to your plank and hold it and walk your knees back underneath you, hover. And again, walk out in your plank. Walk and um, push back into your uh, back stretch. I think Yogi calls this downward dog. And come back to your plank. Walk your knees back underneath you, hover. 
Last one. Walk your feet out, plank, hold. Push back into your back stretch. And come back to your plank and hold. Bring your knees back underneath you, final hover. Lower down. Good, so now we're gonna come straight into our plank and we're gonna tap our toes. So, set yourself up. CBA set, lift into your plank, hold it. You're gonna push back, tap right hand to left toes, hold your plank. Push back, left hand to right toes, hold your plank. Doesn't matter if you can't touch your toes, just reach for it. Every time you come back to your plank, hold your plank. Don't just push back into your arm. Really work your core. Keep your pelvis nice and low. I obviously can't reach my feet today. Last one. On each side, sorry. And hold your plank. Good, now come back down to your quadruped. You're nearly there, I promise. I know your wrists are tired, but the only way to improve them is to weight bear. So we're gonna go for our supermans. Make sure your core is set, otherwise you will not be able to balance. Okay, so straight up, right arm, left leg, hold it. So five, four, three, two, one, change. Try not to lean to one side. Stretch out of your socket, your shoulder and hip sockets. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Calm down. Lovely. I'm just going to grab a drop of water. I know I'm working quite hard. Hopefully you are also working quite hard. All right. Let's go back to our side kick. So grab your cushion ball or your arm if you prefer. So lengthen through your body. Make sure your shoulders are stacked, your hips are stacked, your waist is lifted so Harry the Hedgehog should be able to live underneath you. Bring your feet forward to a 45 degree angle so they are at the corner of your mat. Lift your top leg back to hip height. Good, flex your foot forward. Inhale back. So you can see on this side I'm even tighter. So resist the temptation to fold your body as you, you um, kick forward. Try and find that stretch through your hamstring. That's kind of the point of this exercise, to lengthen as much as we can. Last one. Good, bring your feet down and bring them back. Lovely, so let's go for our ab series. So you have a little bit of choreography, we're gonna run straight through it. For your single leg stretch, when your knee is bent, your outside hand will be on your ankle and your inside hand on your knee, and your switch. For your double leg stretch, you will stay up in flexion, you will pull up your socks, you'll take off your hat, you'll circle your arms as you bend your knees back towards you. So it's inhale and exhale. Your Third set will be toe dips. So it's a hinge at your hip. You're going to end up in this position, so like a diamond. You're going to stay up in flexion, keep your tabletop position, and you're just going to dip your toes to your mat and scoop with your abdominals to lift back up. If you can't reach your mat, that's fine. Go as low as you can keep yourself in neutral, but try and keep your abs engaged, and then we'll move to the hundreds. So take a nice deep breath, set your core. Good, so once you've got your core connection, inhale one leg to tabletop. Exhale the other leg to tabletop. And we're gonna take an inhale, prepare, exhale, come back up. And now we're gonna stretch one leg and switch, 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 switch. And come up into your double leg extension. So it's socks up, hats off, circle your arms, bring your knees back. Inhale. And exhale. Good. 
two more. Okay, roll your head, neck and shoulders back down. Separate your knees, keep your feet together. Inhale, prepare. Exhale up, hold. And inhale to lower, exhale to scoop. Inhale, lower, exhale, scoop. So the bottom of your shoulder blades is still on your mat. I'm hinging at my hip joint and I'm using my lower abdominals to pull my legs back towards me. Last two. Okay, close your knees, roll your head, neck and shoulders back down. I'm gonna give you a second to catch your breath. Reset your core, I did say a second. Inhale, one leg to tabletop, exhale the other leg into tabletop. And we're gonna go for the hundred. So inhale, prepare. Exhale up, start bouncing your tiny ping pong balls. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. If you can, extend your legs. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Think about the peach under your chin, look over your knees or towards your feet. Lengthen through your cervical spine. Keep pulling your fingertips away from your shoulders so your shoulders stay away from your ears. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last 10. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Stay up, don't collapse. Roll your head, neck and shoulders back down, one foot down at a time. Take a nice deep breath. Arms go one way, legs go the other way. Take a breath. Exhale, three through the center. One more each side. Good, and we're gonna come up. So we're gonna come to kneeling. Now I did hurt my knee the other day, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get through this, but we're gonna try. So this is reliant on the front of your legs. So I want you to think about your back. If you're naturally lordotic, think about taking your pelvic tilt. So George, my giant, he lives upstairs. He's pulling your head up to the ceiling. So when I say to people put your head up, I don't mean up. I mean, think about your vertebra floating apart from one another. So engage your core. And now we're gonna bring our arms up into line with our shoulders. Your knees are under your hips. And we're gonna hinge from our knees to coat all the way back. Exhale, pull ourselves forward, hinging out our knees. So use your quad muscles to do this. Keep your back super straight at its natural curvature. Because if you lead with your back, or you lead with your head, you're gonna hurt yourself. So this is your thigh stretch that you would do on a machine without a machine. Inhale back. Exhale forward, you're gonna give me one more. Good, and now we're gonna, sorry, that's my knee. Now we're gonna go for our squat. So your feet are gonna be on fire, and you're gonna squeeze your glutes to get you back off your feet. Keep your arms at shoulder height, still keep floating your vertebrae apart. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze up. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze up. So keep your abs engaged as you come down, squeeze yourself up so your, your back isn't moving. You should literally hinge at your hip joints. Squeeze those glutes to get you up. Squeeze those glutes to get you up. And this is your last one. And now we're gonna do this with a pelvic curl. So we're gonna come halfway down and we're gonna curl our pelvis underneath us. So we're working our quad muscles really hard because they're, they're supporting us. We're keeping our spine up super long but make the same motion as you would make if you're trying to come up into a glute bridge. This is your initiation. For three, two, one, and squeeze your glutes to come up. Good, nicely done. So I'm just gonna stretch my knee out. Do the same if you need to. I don't know what I've done, but it hurts. So there we are. All right, so now we're gonna come into our jackknife. I'm actually going to turn around so I don't hit my bookcase. So I'm now going to hit my cat instead because he likes to get in the way. So our jackknife is similar to a roller because we're going to hinge up to the ceiling. So set your core because you're going to need it. Inhale one leg to tabletop. Exhale the other leg to tabletop. Straighten your legs onto the diagonal. Good. Now inhale, peel yourself off of your mat all the way over. If you can tuck the floor, then do. 
exhale, hinge yourself up as straight as you can. Separate your feet, flex them. Now keep your feet where they are. Stop rolling with control. Down through your abdominals, come back to 45. Point your feet, legs together, and we're gonna go again. So inhale, peel. It's not a fling, use your lower abs. Exhale up, separate, flex. Start to roll through your abs. Keep the strain out of your neck. Now, if you find that you're cheating and using your hands, turn your palms over. And again, inhale. All the way over. I'm kicking my cat. Exhale up. Separate. Flex. Now roll down. Good. Bring your feet back together. One foot down at a time. Come up. And we're going to have a nice spine stretch forward. So, feet at shoulder distance apart, not hip distance, so a little bit wider than usual. And you're going to sit up lovely and tall. If you're not comfortable with your legs straight, sit on a little cushion to take any pressure off of your hip joints. So, you're going to bring your arms into line with your shoulders. You're going to inhale to stretch all the way forward, keep your arms at the same height. In, exhale, stretch back, restack your spine to the beginning. So inhale, stretch forward. You're stretching through your hands and your spine. Exhale, restack your spine all the way back to the top. And what? Two more. So imagine when you go forward, someone's pulling your fingers towards you. Good, okay. So we've done lots of glute work and thigh work today. Let's just give it a good old stretch. Bring your right knee out in front of you. Extend your left leg behind you. Have a good old stretch. Keep your back nice and long. Sit a little bit into your right side. Once you start feeling your stretch, start walking yourself down onto your elbows. Still keep slightly leaning to the right side. If you have the flexibility and you want to, then you can start to walk further down. Okay, so start walking yourself back up. A little bit of a stretch through your back. And then you're going to keep the same leg in front of you. You're going to bring your knee up, back lovely and long. And you're going to sink into your pelvis. Find that hip flexor stretch down your left side. Come back. Now I couldn't do this the other day because I was too tight. Let's see if I'm still too tight. So now you're going to pick up your, your foot and then you're going to pull your foot towards you and stretch through your quad muscle. So I'm really tight because I can't get my foot to my bum, but it should stretch your quad, your quad muscle. Drop your foot and we're going to change. So bring your left knee out in front of you, extend your right leg behind. Sit into your left glute, air just slightly, and when you're ready, start to walk down to your elbows. And if you can, walk further down. Keep leaning to your left. And then start to walk yourself back up. Stretch your back. And then you're going to come up, keep your left leg in front, sink through your pelvis into your hip flexor stretch. Tuck your toes, push back. If you can, pick up your foot, as I said, I couldn't do it yesterday. So now you're going to come down and pull through your quad muscles. So this leg is, is more flexible because I can get my foot to my bum. So it's for a good quad stretch. And then you can let go, come back up. Good. Well, hopefully you feel like you've really worked your core and that you're low, you've made the connection between your brain and your lower abdominals. 
I am Amy from Apollo Pilates. Please check out our website at apollopilates.com. Do like and share this video. There's plenty more on YouTube. And I'll see you next time.